That could have been bad. I just came out here. Dad's having some problems with the magnetic clutch, so. I don't know, now it's working again. We didn't really do much, so I'm not sure what's going on here, but I'm gonna stay out here a bit and see what's going on. Well, Dad's gotta take the harvester down. We got a Mennonite in the area here who's a harvest specialist, so, our harvester specialist, so he's gonna take it down, see what he can figure out. We don't know what's going on. The header keeps stopped working. I should also say, welcome to Pond Bank Farms. Should be an interesting video considering nothing's working, but stay tuned. We'll hopefully get it working. We also have a baler monitor. It's not working. They're coming out to fix it. Hopefully get it going tomorrow. By the end of this video, hopefully everything will be up and running and we will be moving right along. next project we got all these wagons full of soybeans one two three four and then one behind there that's five a little bit on the combine yet we have a truck coming tonight or tomorrow night I'm not sure yet they're gonna see what works best into their schedule to pick up these beans so we're getting this auger set up here so we can do that Okay, I got the auger set up now. I'm just coming over here and I'm gonna grease the wagons. Now that dad's gone, I may as well get them greased up. So that's one less thing to do. Okay, got it. the wagons greased. That might be all for the night. I haven't got word yet if he's coming to pick up the soybeans yet tonight or tomorrow night. So we'll either see you in the morning or see you later on tonight filling up the truck with beans. Okay, so he is coming tonight to load the semi so we got five yeah we got five gravity wagons here so we'll turn some lights on when he gets here and load them up we're loading Okay, we got them loaded up, and we're gonna turn everything off, put some stuff away, and there he goes. Not exactly sure how much is on there, but I'm gonna guess it's close to 50 tons. All right, guys, good night. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. So, we are just gonna haul these wagons to the next bean field this morning and try to get everything done here for the next field. Maybe you can get the combine moved over before it gets dry enough. And then we gotta bale the bean straw and start combining beans. Dad's harvesting right now and he's gonna move to another customer and he's gotta leave early tonight for a funeral viewing. So I'm not sure if I gotta take over harvesting yet or what we're gonna do there. But anyway, we'll get this We'll get started here and see where the day leads, I guess. Okay, we're heading out to the field now. Okay, so since we are spreading the rest of the beans um, over the ground, not the beans, stocks, we're not bailing the straw from the beans, we're gonna be take, putting the chopper to the back because this is where the straw comes out and then it'll spread everything. So we gotta put this out. These flails go around here and flail it into these fans, which spread them. This one looks actually a little bent. That's not good. We'll have to straighten that out a bit. Okay, got the header unhooked. Got a bunch of crap here.
Okay, we just gotta fuel up yet, grease up, and we're gonna start combining. We just got into this field of beans. This is our first uh, roundup beans we're doing. I think it's too wet. If you break open the pods here, and they seem extremely chewy, but I got Emily coming and we're gonna test them to make sure. I'm gonna leave everything here and uh, if it is too wet, we'll try again a bit tomorrow probably. Uh, full, another full day of sun will definitely make a difference. I took a sample here. So, I guess we'll see. Okay, while we're waiting for Emily here, I'm gonna hook on the header cart and just pull it out of the way somewhere where we already combined so that we can get these beans then later on. Oh, what do you know? Looks like I actually backed up half decent. Well, the beans are at 14%, a bit over 14, so I actually have a chain I gotta fix on the one um, forage wagon, but by the time I get that done, it's go time. We'll get those wagons full and uh, see, see if the baler's working, then I gotta bail this bean straw, so. Okay, we got the link fixed. We're gonna empty this out and then put a new chain on. today we're gonna bail the bean straw now if we can they got the monitor working so all the windows are dirty I apologize crazy time of year here hey guys why don't we do a guess the bail challenge bailing bean straw so you know, I don't know. I never bailed bean straw before. We got 33 acres here. We're making 60 inch round bales. So guess how many bales? Drop it in the comments and I'll let you know who the winner is in the next video. So that there shows it's wrapping. Excuse the dirty fingernails. Then there'll be an arrow there somewhere right there. That means open the baler. It is ready to go. And ahead. We're going 18 kilometers an hour. I should correct myself, we're making 62 inch bales, just makes less bales, less bales to handle. Now this baler, while it is super frustrating while you're not able to bale sorghum or whenever it's not baling, um, when it does bale, and the crops it can bale, Man, it's a hard, hard baler not to like. I hope they can get the uh, other problem sorted out. I really do. I really, really love this baler. It's kind of funny with these guess the bale challenges because, oh, we got another bale. Because uh, I always make a guess in my head and I've never got one. Never got one at my own game. It's crazy. And I'm usually off. Um, normally with dad and I, he'll make a guess, I'll make a guess. His guess is always lower, my guess is always higher. The actual number is usually somewhere in the middle. <laughs> okay, well, I'll show you the back of the monitor here. In the front of the monitor is the number of bales. So I know what the number is. Is it less or more than I guessed? It's been the closest to what I thought probably any guess the bale challenge. I can't give anything away, but stay tuned for the next video if you want to find out if you're a winner or not. Okay, the beans are definitely cracking open easier now and they seem a fair bit drier. So we're gonna get started. I think it's gonna be about perfect conditions. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's gonna be an oven inside. We're gonna have to get the AC cranked. Well, it looks like the beans are just a bit on the green side. I don't know what to say. There's some green beans, so we're gonna take a sample into the elevator, see what he says about it, and then we'll know better what to do. Look who fell asleep. Well, I took the sample in. Um, they're 13 percent uh there's just a lot of green green beans in there but um he said keep them coming he's seen worse so that's what we'll do okay we're rolling and i am facing a bit of a dilemma as you can see it's wrapping around the reel like crazy you might say lift the reel up um yes that would be ideal but the um where the air blows in to make sure that we don't get any more bean loss is tilted at a certain angle where the reel needs to be at this height you can adjust that so it tilts but i don't have that hooked up and i should this combine's getting so dirty hoping to fill up these three wagons tonight we'll see how it goes judging by that sample i gotta turn on turn up my fan a little bit clean it up a bit but it looks pretty good actually in a world full of beans be that stock of corn I know profound profound I should probably be a preacher or something well in a turn of events we finished the beans and dad had to go to a funeral tonight so or a funeral viewing so we're chopping for dad. We want to finish the egg bag we're doing now because he's coming in the morning to switch the egg bag. So we're at it. This will be the last load here that I gotta fill. Not even too bad. So just a note, um, in last video I said we got the wagon back from getting fixed and all three wagons have been working pretty good. Aside from the one broken chain. And that is the last for the night. Good morning guys. We're just gonna grease the harvester and we'll get started. See you out in the field. Oh. That's not the field, is it? Fueling. Let's try that again. There we go. That's better. So my bolt, when I was driving down the field here, popped out. I didn't even notice right away. Left the wagon in the middle of the field. I gotta try to find the bolt somewhere. Never happened before. Okay, let's try that again. Chopping again. So he's just got one more egg bag to fill up here at this farm. And then tonight, Dad is going to our next job. We're gonna start, get a good start there. This is really good corn here. 
So I don't know if Dad realized it or not, but then by giving me this job and taking off today, he's not guaranteed it back. I'm enjoying it pretty good now. So Dad, I guess uh, you can... Uh, Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know if I have much of a choice. He'll kick me out pretty fast when he gets back. It's pretty good times though, when everything's working anyway. nicer fall harvest conditions than we have got this year. Um, it's supposed to be a bit rainy next week, but I think we're gonna, by the time that happens, we're gonna have like two, two and a half nice weeks where we have had a beautiful weather, dry. You can't complain. Oh yes, that's very satisfying. Two rows. way with the wagons to the elevator and wouldn't you know it look at my luck stuck behind a road painting crew but we do this road does turn into two lanes up here so I'm hoping I can pass them but I'm not sure oh wow just my luck gotta be honest with you right now this is brutal um Normally, I go over to that side and let all the vehicles pass me. <laughs> Due to the painting, and this is up a long hill, so I'm going like, I don't know, uh, 15 kilometers an hour. Due to the painting, I'm supposed to stay on this side, so all the vehicles are stuck behind me. <laughs> I feel horrible, but what do, you, what do you do? It's not my fault. Everyone's gonna hate me. Green light. We are at it again. Ignore the reel. I sh should have cleaned it off this morning and I didn't. Yesterday I had it down too far and got it all wrapped up in there. I should be cleaning it off. I think I'm gonna finish this field first and then I probably will. Well, we got our first problem of the day here. Luckily I have parts the shop. Emily's coming to pick me up. As you can see, it broke out of here and there. It's supposed to sit right up in there like that. So it should be an easy fix. I think I got the part, so I'm gonna clean off this header while I wait. Okay, I got some parts here. I hope these are the right parts. They don't look exactly the same, but I think it's for the same application. Okay, hey, got it fixed. So that's the new and improved. The old ones were plastic. Yes, I gotta clean all this off. I think that's why these broke actually, but the old ones are plastic, the new ones are steel. Guessing the new ones are better. Well guys, not gonna lie, I am getting a little frustrated. Prime time to be combining bees and I'm out here cleaning the head. I cannot let that happen again. Never had problems with this last year. Or not to this extent. Gonna get it cleaned off and we're gonna make sure we keep this reel out of the beans. Okay, well that was fun. I don't even know what time it is now, but um, we're gonna see what we can get combined yet. Uh, it's starting to get dark already, so. All right. Well, that looks a little cleaner. That was a lot of work. It's unfortunate, but live and learn. As it gets tougher at night, then the beans shell out harder, then you gotta adjust the settings. Um, when I started here, I noticed that I was spitting some beans out the back, so I sped up the um, cylinder, or the cylinder, I guess it's called, and uh, I'm gonna check it again. I closed the concaves up a bit too.
So you're always going to have a few beans on the ground, but you definitely want to eliminate as much as possible. Yes, that's better. I'm seeing a lot less beans on the ground. All right. There's one there. See right there. Um, well, there is another one there. Uh, that's all I'm seeing in about a square foot, so I'll take that. Fun fact, this is the first field that I ever no-tilled. So we used our air seeder and planted. This is the only field I did. I wanted to see the difference. So it'll be interesting to see. Okay, we are done with that field. We actually got a pretty good yield. Honestly, I don't know what's going on in this tractor. It smells like something died in there. I don't know what's going on. It smells really bad. Uh, it smelled like that before when I when I uh, got when I first started it this morning, and it's never it's it smelled a little weird here and there, but not like this. I don't know what's going on. And I got my handy dandy flasher, and you can change the setting. Whoa, that's bright. You can change the settings. I don't know which one I want. I'll do that one. I did have two of them, but I one fell off the wagon on me. Ugh. Okay, I'm just pulling these wagons through to the back part of the heifer barn here and get everything inside for the night. These do have tarps, but they need the tarps. We need new tarps on them. They do have some small holes. Um, better than nothing, but I might not get these unloaded until Monday morning, so it's just better if they're back here. That should work. Okay, we're back at the shop here and uh, I'm gonna quit for the night. So I think that will conclude this video. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching and tagging along with me. Um, if you're a first time viewer, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. And if you have friends that would enjoy this video, go ahead and share it to them. Well, that'll be it guys. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.